Hello, welcome to Beyond Science. Today we're going to be talking about atoms, elements and compounds. In this video we will define the terms atom, element and compound and we will describe how symbols and chemical formulae are used to represent elements, compounds and chemical reactions. All substances are made from atoms. This copper wire, for example, is made of copper atoms. An atom is the smallest part of a substance that can exist. Not all atoms are the same. Copper atoms are different to oxygen atoms. A substance that contains only one type of atom is called an element. And there are around 100 elements. Every known element is represented in the periodic table by a symbol. For example, the symbol Ne is used to represent the element neon. A sample of neon only contains neon atoms. An element symbol is usually made up of the first or first and second letter of its name, like helium with its symbol He. Notice how the first letter is uppercase and the second letter is lowercase. Occasionally, the symbol for an element doesn't appear to relate to the element's name. Sodium, for example, has the symbol Na. This symbol originates from the Latin name for sodium, which was natrium. Can you find these symbols on the periodic table? Which elements do they represent? Ca represents calcium. S represents sulfur. Pb represents lead. When atoms are chemically bonded to each other, they make molecules. Many elements exist as two atoms joined together. Hydrogen, for example, naturally occurs as hydrogen molecules where two hydrogen atoms are chemically bonded together. We can represent molecules with a chemical formula. For hydrogen, the chemical formula would be H2. This shows that the molecule contains two hydrogen atoms. In chemical reactions, atoms of different elements can be joined together with chemical bonds to make new substances. A substance that contains two or more elements chemically bonded together to each other in specific ratios is called a compound. Water is a compound. A molecule of water contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. We can represent water molecules with a chemical formula H2O. The compound sodium chloride contains sodium atoms and chlorine atoms bonded together in a ratio of one to one. So the formula of sodium chloride is NaCl. What is the chemical formula of a compound that contains two iron atoms bonded to three oxygen atoms? A compound containing two iron atoms and three oxygen atoms would have the formula Fe2O3. We can use the symbols of elements and the chemical formulae of compounds to represent chemical reactions and equations. This equation represents the chemical reaction in which magnesium atoms become chemically bonded to chlorine atoms to make a compound. The new compound that has been made contains two chlorine atoms but every one magnesium atom, so it has the chemical formula MgCl2. This compound is called magnesium chloride. What does this chemical equation tell us? This equation shows that carbon atoms react with oxygen atoms to make a compound that contains one carbon atom to every two oxygen atoms. This compound with the formula CO2 is called carbon dioxide. So remember, 
All substances are made of atoms. Elements contain just one type of atom. There are around 100 elements. Compounds contain two or more elements chemically bonded together in specific ratios. Symbols are used to represent elements. Chemical formulae are used to represent compounds.